All right, what's up guys? Chris Shea here back with another video today for you. I would just like to first off say I'm sorry if things sound a little weird or if my camera looks different. That's because it is. I'm not currently home right now, but I still wanted to get some content out for you guys. So this is currently being recorded using my laptop camera and my laptop's mic. So it is not my regular setup, but I really did want to be able to push out some videos for you guys. But this video, I just give another bracket breakdown for the Paris Legion Home Series coming up this weekend. I would just like to give a quick shout out to the Florida Mutineers for being able to pull out the last event congratulations to them it did not go how i break down my bracket whatsoever it was all over the place a truly crazy event lag they just blew everyone's expectations out the water beating huntsman took phase map five could have easily won the series there too but i just wanted to give my congratulations to the florida mutineers the minnesota home series was supposed to be the weekend of the week i uploaded the video but it ended up getting postponed because of all the protests and everything i'm sure you guys have heard about it with george floyd and all that it makes perfect sense given it being in minnesota or the minnesota home series especially but they did not push back any other events so there was events back to back weekends now so this upcoming weekend the paris legion home series is starting and i'm doing another bracket breakdown in this video for you guys all right but that's pretty much all i have for you guys today and i hope you guys enjoy the video all right ladies and gentlemen here we go with the paris legion home series and here we go let's just get things started here first matchup paris legion versus the florida mutineers once again shout out to them florida mutineers closing in the last event one of the hardest ones to call all season lots of talent in that chicago LAG played lights out, clearly. FaZe, top team all season. Florida, Dallas, but they were the ones that came out on top. Minnesota did not play as well as I thought they would, but Florida did come out on top. Huge shout out to them once again. And Paris has been a decent team all season, but Florida coming off of a win and not seeing Paris recently, I'm going to have to go with the Florida Mutineers as they did win two events now this season as well but i do not think it'll be a 3-0 i think it will be 3-1 in favor of the florida mutiny next up the london royal ravens versus the dallas empire so for anyone that tuned into the last event you know that most of the series did end up going 3-2 which is actually insane i think it was like 8 out of 12 went map 5 round 11 or something like that so it was completely insane very competitive the league is looking right now and I think this will be a very good matchup. London has been kind of a sleeper team all season. They've been playing really good, but they just haven't secured a spot in winning a grand finals. And Dallas Empire, obviously, with their two event wins. So I think this is going to be a very competitive series. But due to that, I will be giving it to the Dallas Empire. But it will be a very close series, I believe. I think it will be 3-2 in favor of the Dallas Empire. All right, next up, here we go. The New York Subliners versus Los Angeles Optic or LA Optic. I think it's going to be a very competitive series too. Both teams kind of were lackluster at the beginning of the season, but both teams have recently stepped up their game and have been looking solid. New York Subliners with the addition of Mac and LA Optic, it just looks like they're starting to click. I think it's going to be a very competitive series. This is probably the hardest one to call out of this round, if you ask me. And I think, I don't know. I'm on the fence about this, but I do think it is going Map 5 as well. I think it is going 2-2, two to two, but who's pulling it out? This is a tough series to call. I think that this one i'm gonna have to give to the new york subliners just because it's a new team optic on the other hand not a new team or subliners are not a new team a newer team with the addition of mac la optics been the same team all season i think subliners are just going to keep getting better consistently over the season with the addition of mac which is why i'm going to give it to them three to two next up atlanta phase versus toronto ultra toronto ultra actually did play decent in the last event they did not do well as i predicted but they did play decent but i do think phase is still debatably if not the best team in the game and i do not think this will be a close series i think that it will be 3-0 in favor of phase and i say this also because if you look at phase last event they did take second and they did make it to grand finals but phase did not look as good as they have the rest of the season during this event lots of people have been saying it so even with that talent they still were able to get to a grand finals even with not even looking good and i think they're going to be very motivated to get back on top which is why i think they will completely stop the toronto ultra three to nothing next up knockout round one we have the paris legion versus london royal ravens the international game here paris versus london paris has been a decent team all season london as i've said before has kind of been a sleeper team so for that i will have to give it to them three 
but Paris has been looking good. They've been a decent team all season. They've been kind of a middle tier, lower middle tier team. I think it's going to be a close series overall, especially with it being the Paris home series, which is why I'll also be calling this one 3-2 to two in favor of the London Royal Ravens. Next up, knockout round one, we have LA Optic versus Toronto Ultra. LA Optic, they just had a tough matchup for their round one. They had to play the New York Subliners. Close series, as I call it, 3-2 to two loss, and they're playing Toronto Ultra in here. I think LA Optic will definitely be able to pull up this series. And I think it will be going three to one in favor of LA Optic, hashtag Slashers Optic. So I'm sorry, Paris, and I'm sorry, Toronto. You guys will not be advancing. Paris in your own home series, disappointing to say the least, but it is what it is. Here we sit now, quarterfinals, first quarterfinals matchup. This would be winners round two. Both these teams won Florida over Paris and Dallas over London in a close series. I think this is going to be a very good series. Both teams with two event wins, both solid rosters. But I do think this one will be going 3-2 to two in favor of the Dallas Empire just because Dallas, a top team, they're going to want to get back on top. They're going to be motivated. Florida, also a very good team. It's going to be a close matchup either way. Florida's looking to defend their title. Dallas is looking to get back on top. And I think that motivation will help them push them over the edge to win this game and push them into the semifinals. The other winners round two matchup, the New York Subliners versus Atlanta FaZe. This could also be another very close matchup, especially with how New York and FaZe have both looked recently. As I said before, FaZe has not looked as good as they have all season recently. And New York, on the other hand, is starting to look like they're elevating, becoming a better team. But I do think FaZe will still pull this one out, but I do think this will also be a close series, which is why I think it'll be 3-2 Atlanta FaZe. First matchup in knockout round two, we have the Florida Mutineers versus London Royal Ravens. This is a good matchup here. I really think so. London, as I said before, a sleeper team. Florida looking to defend their title. I think it's going to be a very close series here as well. All right, this pick may have upset some people, but I think I'm going to have to give it to the London Royal Ravens. Florida looking to defend the title. Yesterday, we motivated one to defend that. London, the other team, one of the best teams in the game that has not won. There's plenty of other good teams that have not won. New York, Minnesota. London as obviously here LA Optics been playing better but I think London being in Paris are the Paris home series and them not having a grand finals win yet I think that will motivate them and they will take this it will be a very close series though which is why I think it will be 3-2 in favor of the London Royal Ravens next up the other matchup in knockout round two the New York Subliners versus LA Optic this is going to be a very good matchup as well they met in the beginning of the event in round one and they will be meeting again in knockout round two this time i think it will be once again going in favor of the subliners though but in a very close fashion i just think the subliners will be very motivated to get to this championship sunday now here we sit boys my championship sunday we have the dallas empire versus new york subliners in the first matchup here i think this will be a good matchup but i do think dallas is still very much so the stronger team which is why I will be giving it 3-1 in favor of Dallas. Dallas did not win the last event. They did play. New York, on the other hand, did not play. But it has looked solid recently. But I think Dallas will definitely have that motivation to want to get back on top. Which is why I will put them back in the grand finals as team number one. And your other semifinal matchup here for this championship Sunday of the Paris Home Series. We have Atlanta FaZe versus the London Royal Ravens. Once again... Atlanta FaZe appeared in the Grand Finals last event, did not pull it out. London Royal Ravens are still looking for that Grand Finals win. And I do think, though, I will have to be giving it to the boys at Atlanta FaZe, also in a 3-1 fashion, as FaZe still debatably the top team in the game, undoubtedly, no matter how they've been performing. Still still the most CDL points, still the top of the leaderboards. I think a lot of them, a lot of people will still have them favored to take champs and this event, which is why I'm giving it to them 3-1. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this one looks a tiny bit different than it did end in Minnesota or the Minnesota home series. Both teams that were in the grand finals there are playing here, but this will be a very close series. One team after this will be the first team in CDL history to have three event wins, as both of them currently have two. I really do think it will happen. It's going to be a very close series, but I do think it is going to be going to the boys at Atlanta phase, because I do not think that they will be losing twice in the grand finals, especially after coming off directly losing in a grand finals it's going to be a very close series though which is why i'm calling it three to two in favor of debatably the best team in the game atlanta phase okay guys here's my completed bracket all right guys that's pretty much all i have for today if you guys enjoyed the video please make sure to leave a like and comment below what your thoughts are i would love to hear what you guys think or how you think this event is going to play out but that's pretty much all i have for today and until next time it's been chris or cia
Peace.